right, well, we got the LiDAR out of the rain. Looks like we're gonna be a little rain delay here. And I take this moment, I think I take this moment to actually tell you guys what, uh, a little bit about LiDAR, what it is I do with LiDAR. I'm starting to get some rain on this. Let's, let's get a, a little bit further here into the woods. I think, I think we got our spot here. This is just a beautiful clearing. It's raining, but as you can see, it is just, just beautiful here. I'm here in California right now, and most of my job requires me to use a LiDAR uh, mapping, aerial mapping system on a drone. What is that? I'm actually gonna take this out of the box, hopefully not get it wet, and we'll talk about what is LiDAR. All right, so this is an aerial LiDAR mapping system. And that right there, that is a laser scanner. So this sends out about 100,000 laser pulses every second. And that laser pulse travels away from here and it'll hit an object and reflect and come back. And what this is doing is it's measuring that time it takes to go there and back. And from that time, it knows the distance. Once we have a distance this, so we're measuring about 100,000 distance measurements every second. And then also we have to know where this is located on the surface of the earth, because what we want to do is say, well, this is so far away from the scanner, but where is that located on the earth? So inside of here, we have a GPS and something called an IMU. So once we know where this is located on the earth, then we can actually project these points onto the earth's surface. So all that comes together to make this aerial LIDAR mapping system. And it's actually raining a little hard. So I'm, I'm going to cover this up really quick because this is this is a hundred and eighty thousand dollar system right here and uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit of a story actually so I'm gonna share with you a story uh, that happened to me a couple weeks ago on a job in the Midwest and this story I basically broke this LiDAR unit and had to fix it out in the middle of the field I didn't have any tools but I had to get the job done. It was a three and a half mile long uh, corridor survey. It was for a, a, a city, it's gonna put in a new uh, sewer system. And so there was a lot of trees. And if you wanted to do a traditional survey, it would just take a really long time because you, know, you got a lot of trees, you gotta see through the trees. But with the drone, this unmanned system, you can fly above the trees and you can shoot those lasers down. And it's actually gonna see the surface of the ground through the trees. So I want to share with you that story. Let's go ahead and head on over to the Midwest and we'll pick up from there. Yeah. I think I got it. No problem. Just a few things. It's a lot. early in the morning, got some snow on the ground, but got to go out and fly the M600 with the LiDAR on it. And then we also have the Inspire. Should be a good day. It's probably about 30 degrees Fahrenheit out there. We'll keep the batteries warm. We'll get it going. Let's do this. Like we're the first ones here on the job site. Great, we beat the clients out, so let's get everything set up and get flying. Well, everything was going good until I couldn't turn the LiDAR on. So I came back to the house, packed everything up, and now it's time to troubleshoot this. 
I don't know what's going on, but I, I gotta get back out to the job tomorrow and hopefully, ideally, I could figure out what's broken on this and get it fixed and get back into the air tomorrow. So basically what happened is I turned the LiDAR on and I was trying to connect to it and I was just getting no signal. So something is wrong either with the connection to the system. So that's this cable right here, plugs in ethernet to the laptop. And then it has one of these Limo connectors to the, the LiDAR system. And so my, my first idea is because actually this, my, my my ethernet cable is a little bit broken. I, I broke it a little while ago and yeah, it's been a little janky. So my first, I, I think it might be this. Let's test that out. So I'm gonna do just a continuity test. Okay, well, it seems like the cable has continuity between the pens on this side and all the pens on this side, and there's no cross-talk, so it seems that this, this is okay. Not the problem. I think we're going to have to take it apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the case off, and inside the case here is going to be what I'm thinking. We got the LiDAR sensor, and then we're going to have the computer as well as the power supply unit. We're gonna have all the connections and connectors. Uh, and there's also the IMU and the GPS inside of here. But let's take it apart and see what's on the inside. Always important to be patient whenever you are doing something with expensive equipment. Even when you got a deadline, even when you got the whole world feels like the whole world resting on your shoulders to get something done, it's always important to still focus one screw at a time, one screw at a time. Can't rush life. So in a past life of mine, before I started doing all of this LiDAR stuff, I actually designed optic systems for a number of years. I was a physicist, experimental physics actually. I worked in quantum optics, biomedical optics. Oh, those were the days, just being in the lab all day, all night. All I would do is take stuff apart and fix it, build stuff. This one time we took a, um, took out one of these, these, uh, checkout scanners, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, when you go to the, the little barcode readers and uh, we turned this, the laser system inside of that, we, we turned it into Optical coherence tomography. Basically what that does is we're able to three-dimensionally reconstruct about three or four cells into the skin. Just using the components from one of these scanners. It was really cool. My favorite thing though, and kind of what is what led me into this, uh, was quantum optics. Quantum optics if you guys don't know, which I'm assuming most people don't know what quantum optics is, uh, it's pretty obscure. But basically, usually light, it behaves like a wave. But when you get really, really, really low levels of light, so it gets really dark, basically, uh, light will just start behaving like a, a particle. And they call these particles photons. So basically all quantum optics is, is whenever you're measuring very low levels of light, a single photon at a time. So you can count a single photon. That's quantum now. So it's a quanta, one particle of light, quantum optics. And I was doing something with quantum entanglement. It's really cool. All right, I think I got all the screws off. So 
Let's open her up. The reveal. Wow. Okay. Oh, look at that. Well, clearly, clearly this is this is the clearly this is the lidar unit here with the laser scanner, essentially. And it's got a connection here, oh, right here in the back. This is. You can see that. Let's, let's get you in here. That right, this orange thing, that is an IMU, the inertial measurement unit. Just bolt it on there. Um, okay. Just give me, give me a second, I think. All right guys, I got a long night ahead of me and I have been working on this for a little while now. It doesn't appear to be any of the connection issues. It, I'm kind of leaning towards it's the it's the main computer, so it's something to do with the, the basically the the main driving computer on board. Maybe it fried. I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, but I'm gonna work on this for a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna catch up with you in the morning. All right, we got only about 20 minutes to get this thing back together. It's totally broken, but I found a way to fix it and. I hacked together on this motherboard inside the controller unit computer. I don't know, but I do know that it's working and we're going to get it going. I got to rush over to Tom's house. He's got some tools and parts for me. And then I got to go back to the job site and start the job. So let's get this thing fixed. Let's get going. All right. Tom, take the slide on. Is that the IMU down in there? Yeah, the IMU is over here. Uh, this is the main, this is the computer. Mm -hmm. Hard drive, Wi-Fi card, power supply unit, LiDAR. And then right here is where we're gonna make these two jumpers. Cool. Do you think they're gonna fit like right in there? Go in this second one, in the top two is closest to you. Oh yeah, they're looking, doing pretty good already. They might be a little fat. Might have to shave them down a little bit. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Feels pretty good too. Uh, if we gotta test it now, right? Let's do it. Okay, let's turn this on. Power supplies on. Yep, we should have a red light over there. Yep. Oh. Yep, that's the, that another one. IMU. That's the IMU turning on. IMU turning on. It's green. Flashing. And green. then we should have the little laser head. That should spin around. Is that shooting out laser? Should I be looking at that? <laughs> <laughs> you should look your eyes right into that. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Do the honors, Harry. All right. Okay, so we're gonna connect both these pens together and this should trigger the onboard computer to turn on. Did it work? It did. You have this, some, oh, yeah, that that's green light came on. Light. This green light came on, but then it went off. <laughs> <laughs> that's the actual light for the computer right there. Mm. This is the light just for the power supply unit. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's still working. Let's uh, connect to the computer. Yeah, I need to grab my computer. Okay, you're back. Let's test it out. Green light. Okay. Green light. Yeah. There's the beep. There's a beep. That was the beep. That's a good beep. I heard the beep yes. when we were on the phone. Yes. That's and a that, good beep. That's a good beep. Okay. That's the beep of. Hello everyone. Welcome. I'm alive. <laughs> Let's try this.
There it is. Yes. That's our yes to the certificate, and here we are. Remote desktop in. We are. Is that what you're doing, right? Yep, remote RDP, remote desktop. Cool. Woo! Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. But we gotta clean it up. Well, we gotta get these wires here that you you made these extenders. We're gonna drill through this casing right here. Yeah. And those two wires will poke out right there in the yeah. casing. Beautiful, dude. Yeah. That worked out pretty nice. Oh, you want me to put it in? Yeah, because you got you to gotta peel it out a little bit. There we go. Totally. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. They, I mean, they did a really nice job fabricating this case. I agree. Yeah, it's really yeah. clean and really well. Yeah, totally. Agree. Well put together. Okay. Let's um. put it back together, dude. Okay. Let's do you want to hear that DeWalt kit? Was. Awesome, I just got the last screw in. Okay, there we go. We are back together. We have our new jumper ports here. I think we're good to go. Well, there we go. We just finished flying. I'm so excited that this patch, this mod that I made to the motherboard worked today. We were able to get the job completely done. And you know, there you have it. It's just another adventure for us and another story to tell you about some of the challenges we reach in the drone world. So I hope you enjoyed. And, and if you can, please like and subscribe. It's another adventure from Indiana Drones. Today was fixing a $180,000 LiDAR system. The middle of the night with some uh, some really uh, interesting methods, but it works. We're flying. We captured the data. I'm stoked. I hope you're stoked. Leave some comments down below, and we'll catch you next time.